السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. We'll continue with the question number three: projectile motion. Just to refresh your memory a little bit, the question was about a student who strikes a tennis ball from at point P. The ball initially has height two point eight from the ground. And the ball was launched horizontally with a velocity 64 meter per second at an angle 70 degree below the horizontal. Okay, this is the dashed line is the horizontal. Okay, we reach till D. We need to show that the tennis ball passes over the net. In order to prove the tennis ball passes over the net, we have to find the height of the ball. If this height is greater than the height of the net, which is 0.91 meter, then the ball will pass over the net. So we reach till here. We calculate delta y from this equation, v initial y times delta t plus half acceleration y direction delta t square. The initial is given to us in the question is uh, was 7.8. Since the ball is moving down, so it will be negative, down in negative, down, we agree down, moving down is negative, moving up is positive. And the time we've calculated, which is 0 0.187 minus, because the acceleration is moving down, 10 divided by 2, it will give me 5 times the time square. And we, we've got delta y negative 1.63 meter. The total height of the ball is 2.8 minus delta y. So the height of the ball is 1.2, which is greater than the height of the net, uh, 0.91. So the ball will pass over the net. Now, second part of the question or the last part of the question. E, determine the speed of the tennis ball as it strikes the ground, as it strikes the ground. We had the initial speed of the ball in y direction, so we're still here in y direction. You remember when you, when you solve projectile motion, you have x and y direction, so I can find the final speed from this equation, the final in y direction square will equal v initial in y direction square plus two acceleration in y direction times delta y. v initial in y direction was 7.8, and it's negative, square, plus two acceleration in y direction is negative 10, and the height, the initial height of the ball was negative 2.8. Take square root to find v final in y direction, and you should get 64.4 meter per second. And this should be what? Negative. This is V final in Y direction because the ball is moving down. Now I need the final speed, the final speed, which means the resultant speed. Okay, I can delete this one now. I'll clear it all. So I have initial speed in x direction, I have velocity in x direction. This is always constant. Initial and final is always the same. And this we calculated as 63.5 meter per second. And I have speed in the y direction. This is the final speed in y direction was 10.8 meter per second, these two speeds are perpendicular. So I need to find the resultant speed, the resultant speed, this one. Since they are perpendicular, I can use Pythagoras theorem. 
So V will equal V in X direction square plus V in Y direction square. And this will equal 63.5 square. This is negative. Plus negative 10.8 square. And this should give me 64.4, if I calculated, meter per second. That's it, uh, guys. This was question number three. Okay. The question I wrote it uh, in the description section of the video. Uh, the document itself, I've shared it with you on Google Drive. So you have it in Google Drive. Next video, inshallah, we will be solving question number four.